We're joined with Alice and May. We're going to be talking all about the Kent Association for the Blinds Variety Show. Uh, Alison is the Christmas Variety Show Project Leader. Firstly, Alison, welcome along to the show. Thank you very much. I'm pleased to be here. Firstly, Alison, could you tell us a little bit about your role? Yeah, I've worked for KAB as a project worker, um, really just promoting um, self-directed support, so... um, um, direct payments and trying to help sort of social services staff understand how it can benefit blind and partially sighted people. But myself and three other colleagues, we got together because this year KAB is celebrating its 90th birthday and we, we just thought it would be nice to get together and arrange a fundraising event for KAB. And as we're all sort of interested in music and entertaining one way or another, we just, it was the one thing that we thought we could do well reasonably well anyway so we're not doing this as a paid job this is what we're doing we're just giving to the organization so why are you going to put the variety show on yeah sure well this year kob is celebrating its 90th anniversary it was um set up just after the first world war because the government was so worried about the number the high numbers of men who were coming back from the first world war blinded by um bomb blasts and mustard gas and so the the association was born and we we were asked if we'd lay on a show because last year we we put on a production called Kent Kent Has Unseen Talent based on Britain's Got Talent where participants were blind and partially sighted and we raised nearly £9,000 through that. So needless to say, our fundraising department were quite keen for us to repeat it this year. And um, But we, especially with it being our special 90th anniversary, but it was such a major undertaking last year that we didn't feel that we could face that again. And so we, we said that we'd put on this variety show and with established facts, which obviously cuts down the work a lot more. So we've got a mix of sighted performers, but... Also, it includes the winner of the competition last year and one or two other sight-impaired performers as well. We're talking to Alice and May, Christmas Variety Show Project Leader. We're joined back with Alice and May, Kent Association for the Blind, Christmas Variety Show Project Leader. We're talking all about their variety show, which is on at uh, the UK paper Leisure Club in Sittingbourne on Sunday the 12th of December. So, Alison, uh, who's organising this? Well, um, there's four of us, in fact, and we all work for KAB. So there's Claire Fruin, who's the receptionist and administrator, so she's the first person you see when you go to the headquarters at Maidstone. And then there's John Wills and Rachel Newton, who are both rehabilitation workers, and myself, and I used to be a rehab worker until about 18 months ago when I retired. And I'm just carrying out this project work with KCC. So there's four four of us who are employed by KAB, but we're actually doing it in our in our own time. What's going to happen during the evening? Right. Um. There's a, we've got. I think we've got ten acts. We've got um. We've got a dance troupe. Um. We've got a really excellent um Johnny Kennedy who does an excellent Tom Jones tribute. Um. We've got, I guess you'd say it was a mixture of pop. We've even got a bit of light opera and we've got Viva a cappella. So they, they're actually an award-winning a cappella group. And um, Marit Addy from Canterbury, who are world music um, choir and drummers. And it, it, it should really be something for everybody. We've got the Mayor of Swale coming along and... Um, and lots of lovely raffle prizes. So, yeah, so it is a true variety show with something for everybody. We're talking to Alice and May, Kent Association for the Blind, Christmas Variety Show Project Leader here at BRFM on the Monday Night Community Show. We're joined back with Alice and May, the Kent Association for the Blind Christmas Variety Show Project Leader. Now, you spoke about raffle prizes. Uh, Could you tell us more about that, Alison? Yeah, everybody's been incredibly generous. Um, Sainsbury's have donated um, a hamper. We've got entry vouchers for Diggerland, um, Wildwood, Belmont House, 
and um, a Shetland Inn um, brewery tour. Um, we've got the normal bottles of wine and the cuddly toys and that kind of thing. Oh yes, and we've also um, through the um, the community chest, um, P&O Ferries have donated us a voucher for um, a vehicle and nine people to for a channel crossing. So we've got some really excellent prizes. So how can our listeners find out more information and also obtain tickets? The tickets are ten pounds. Um, and the venue is quite small, it only seats 200 people and the, the, well, I think, we, I think at the last, when I asked on Friday, we've got about 70 tickets left, so they've sold really well. Um, we've got a dedicated ticket line, which is 01622 358970. Um, but if anybody wants to know more information, they can ring our headquarters at KAB, which is 01622 691357. Alison, could you refresh our listeners where and uh, when the variety show is on? Yeah, sure. That helps, doesn't it? Um, UK um, Paper Leisure Club have been really generous. They gave us an, an incredible deal and they're being extremely hospitable. So it's actually being held at the UK um, Paper Leisure Club in the Avenue of Remembrance in Sittingbourne at 7.30 on Sunday, uh, December the 12th. Alison, I'd like to thank you very much for talking to us here at the Monday Night Community Show. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure and I do hope your listeners can join us.